here's what I'll say. Jalen Green has the highest ceiling on the Rockets. Eric Gordon has the highest playoff impact on the Rockets, like, like in terms of like a team that wants to acquire a player from the Rockets that can make a playoff impact. Like Eric Gordon's probably the most valuable player in that respect. Alperin Shingun right now is the best player on the Rockets. Like I, I, I think that's pretty hard to dispute in terms of like obviously his skill set, but his scoring and his scoring efficiency and what he does for for Houston's office when when he's in the game, the positive impact he has on other players. Um, he need he just needs the ball. Like I, I just checked this morning, Shingun is getting less touches per game than Dacian Nix. And he only seems to get the ball okay, when the Rockets have no point guard though. That's gotta be because sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But regardless, I still think that's inexcusable because mm-hmm. he he's better enough of a player to where it doesn't matter what position you play. The guy should be getting the ball more, point blank. But you know th- there are three situations where he gets the ball. Uh, he only seems to get begin the ball, and the Rockets have nothing going for them in the half court, so they throw it into him in the post, or. Um, they're all, they're like giving him the ball when he's in position to score right away, and that's pretty damning because like both Jalen and Kevin are doing this, right? Like when he's ba- basically they're they're giving him the ball when he's in, in position to get them a, to net them an assist, right? Or he's getting the ball off an offensive rebound. Those are the three positions where he's getting the ball, right? He's not getting the ball to run functional offense. He's getting the ball basically as a bailout option most of the time. And he's still scoring at this high rate. And, you know, my takeaway, and I said this on, la- on the last episode, I just think the Rockets don't trust him from coaching staff on down. Uh, and I don't know why that's that, that, trust. that, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know why that's the case. I think, I suspect it started with the coaching staff and it kind of bled into the roster, right? Like, like starting with KPJ, then you start seeing Jalen kind of give him the cold shoulder, right? Like it, it, it's, it's, it's weird. It, it is, it's very strange to watch. And, I think he knows the Rockets don't trust him. And he feels some sort of added pressure to score when he does get the basketball. And I thought that there was a chance I was just seeing things I wanted to see. So, But I went back and I checked the numbers to see if, you know, the eye test matched the numbers. And, and lo and behold, like, his assist percentage is down 6% this year. Like, to put that in perspective, 6% is the difference between Alper and Shangun and Tari Eason. Like, he's he's basically scoring because he realizes like this is pretty much the only way I can prove my worth like every time I get the ball I have to go try and score and that's that sucks because the Rockets can use him in so many more creative facets like they could use him legitimately as a playmaker and because he feels this added pressure to score because he's not getting the ball enough he he's not doing his playmaking stuff anymore like that's down significantly from where it was last year this is not a this is a good Shangoon, but it's a significantly less fun Shangoon than last year's Shangoon. Okay, if you like that clip and you want to listen to the entire conversation, go to rednagesnoops.com where you can subscribe to the entire catalog of podcasts I have out there for Rockets fans. It's free. There's a seven-day free trial to try it out. If you want to just listen to this entire podcast, go ahead. No one's stopping you.